Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazale, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session, the 17th of uh, October. We have a Wednesday, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so Asian markets higher overnight, uh, led by the rebound in America. Uh, US markets certainly are surging overnight, quite an impressive thrust of that as well. Uh, hats off to the uh, the actual US markets there, quite a s significant thrust. Okay, that's all I can say with regards to the actual price action. Obviously, that was led by uh, a host of factors. Number one, uh, overcoming the Saudi concerns uh, regarding Mr. Trump defending them. Number two, uh, the situation with regards to jobs. Uh, jobs numbers came in stronger than expected, and also earnings as well. And Netflix certainly blew out the water, or, and that obviously triggered the, the massive rally in the Nasdaq, almost a 300-point rally. So you, you can see a 50-60 point rally in the S&P 500. Very, very impressive. Okay, now in terms of European markets this morning, then uh, focus really is uh, on the data as always. So let's quickly go through that with you. We've got concerns regarding the uh, situation uh, with regards to Brexit. Obviously, that remains. Uh, European concerns obviously remain as well. Uh, UK numbers, GDP numbers or inflation numbers have come in slightly uh, on the uh, <clears throat> uh, the weaker side in terms of retail price index. Uh, but the uh, overall numbers, I mean, PPI came in more or less in line. Uh, PPI core output more or less in line month to month. It was just the, uh, the PPI numbers came in slightly higher than expected, but the RPI which obviously the uh, BOE needs to keep an eye on the consumer that came in lower than expected. In terms of um, CPI data we have for Europe, obviously later on today, then obviously housing stats and building stats and FOMC Brainard speech and Mr. Weedman talking as well and Mr. Broadbent, so watch out for that and also FOMC minutes at 7 p.m. So again, you're going to see, uh, well, certainly expect a lot of volatility later on in the evening. Okay, now in terms of the European markets and how they set up, let's see exactly how they traded or are trading at present. German DAX uh, holding that FIB 38%. Okay, lower low, lower high. 60 minute chart, given obviously with concerns regarding the election, so bear that in mind. Uh, retesting previous support equals resistance, so uh, keep an eye on that. In terms of the pivot low, we've got pivot low at 11,470. Okay, so watch out below. In terms of the 10 minute chart, uh, again, we've pushed higher. The market certainly has flushed ever since it's been pushed higher this morning, so the gap high quite impressive. And the gap high is certainly being negated. So keep an eye, keep uh, keep an eye on that 11850 resistance for now. Uh, again, uh, quite an impressive thrust, uh, led by the U.S. markets. Now, can that continue? That's the question. Okay, we are now coming into potential support here. So watch out for the German DAX at this region. In terms of the French CAC, certainly pushed higher, went into gap fill. Okay, at 5206. Uh, again, really, it's a low high, lower low. So watch out in terms of the next move lower. Again, looking for resistance in this region here, looking for it to potentially trade lower, move lower. We did obviously pull pull lower, attempt to close the gap. The market has bounced ever since. Looking to potentially short the data CAC if we retest that double top at 5205. Uh, looking for a move lower in European equities, given the ongoing concerns regarding Italy. The FTSE certainly being helped uh, this morning, obviously by the rally in the uh, and Dow. Dow up almost 500 points, the S&P as well, certainly being helped from that perspective. Uh, again, quite an impressive thrust. We are seeing resistance here uh, at present around this 5, 7 or 80 zone. So watch out here. We could potentially break higher and close the gap at 7145. That certainly uh, is a possibility. So watch out there. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices. Uh, Euro stock certainly bouncing off that key support zone. We are now putting a potential topping tail here around the 3280. Object test for previous support equals resistance so looking for a move lower again expect a lot of volatility u.s equity is certainly uh, overbought from my perspective uh, given the uh, short squeeze and looking for a potential flush lower and therefore european equities will certainly move lower as well based on that you eurozone inflation numbers coming in more or less in line okay nothing of a surprise there so uh, that's the latest news on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now